Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today I'm going to be talking about Groovy Books. So there's quite a few books out there for uh, Groovy, um, and I'm just going to be talking a little bit about them, uh, what I think of them, and things of that nature. Um, if I was going to be choosing books, uh, this is off, off of the uh, Groovy Learn page. Uh, as I said in a previous video, definitely check you know this site out further um, but if I was going to be starting out with Groovy the first book I would get is probably Programming Groovy uh, reason is it's a very easy read um, it's by Venkat Subnamarian uh, I might be mispronouncing that and I might be mispronouncing many names but he is a very great speaker uh, great sense of humor and this is you know for me this is just one of the best uh, books for getting started. Now from there you probably would want to go on to uh, Groovy in Action 2. Now this one for quite a while uh, as you can see it's uh, Meep which is their early access. I thought it was never going to come out. I think it started in 2008 or 9 uh, when it came when it started uh, in its early access and I think it's going to be actually releasing sometime this summer. So it's been in process for quite a while, but they've constantly been updating it. So this is going to be an authoritative, more just source. Uh, and I've looked through it, it looks to be very well written, but it's, it's more of a, a good place for just you to look things up and absorb like you know a piece of it rather than like you know a nicer maybe introduction to uh, Groovy. Now obviously this one will be more up to date than this one because uh, you know Groovy has been rapidly evolving but this one is still a good one to to look into. Um, I think one of the things that this one won't have would be uh, Groovy traits and any of the Android stuff which came in uh, more recently in Groovy's, uh, Groovy versions 2.3 and 2.4, uh, but still a very good one to check out. Now, if you're coming from Java, uh, making uh, Java Groovy uh, is probably a very good book. I have not read this one, um, but I do know uh, Ken Cousin because I've seen him talk uh, quite a few times, and he is very knowledgeable, and he has, uh, you know, a uh, kind of a little bit of a corny sense of humor, but uh, he he makes his talks very uh, you know enjoyable with that, and so I would assume that the book is very similar to that, uh, you know, packed with a lot of interesting knowledge. So, uh, Groovy Cookbook I haven't checked out. Uh, I think this is the second edition, so that one's you know it's I think it, I have the first edition I believe, and it was just a lot of like interesting little you know things you can do with Groovy so this is probably something uh, interesting to check out uh, if you're looking to do domain specific language uh, stuff this might be a good place but I, I believe this book is quite dated at this point um, from what I understand I think it came out quite a while ago so you might just want to look more into uh, you know language documentation, although this might give you some good ideas if you're getting into uh, DSL design. Uh, another good one I don't have, but I've, I've watched this, I've seen this guy's, uh, his post. Uh, he normally goes to, I think, uh, the Great Conf EU, uh, which is actually, I should have added this to one of my other videos. Uh, I believe he, his uh, tagline or not tagline but uh, handle is Mr. Hacky uh, but the the groovy goodness like a, a lot of this is just some uh, a collection of his posts online so I would definitely check this out if you're getting into groovy because this is I think this would be si somewhat similar to uh, the cookbook but there's you know definitely a lot of good stuff anytime I'm searching for groovy stuff a lot of times I'll end up on some of his posts so that's just a quick video on some of the books that are out there and kind of what I think of them. Take it with, for what it's worth and have a good one. Bye.